Welcome to this video demonstration of Endgrain Producer Pro. In this video, I am going to demonstrate model editing mode inside Producer. If you want to make changes to a model, such as change the color of parts or constrain parts, you can edit the model in model editing mode. Important, all changes that you make in model editing mode will change the model in all configurations. We recommend that you edit a model before you create animations or tasks. In this next topic, we will be discussing creating and assigning part types. A part type allows you to classify parts so that they share attachments and constraints. In the following example, I have 10 lug nuts associated with this model. The 10 lug nuts are identical. Once the lug nuts have been assigned to a part type, I can then screw any of the lug nuts into any one of the inner lug nuts. Take note, you can create part types in model editing mode only. Moving into model editing mode, under edit, model editing mode, select part types from the right hand side. Select Create Type, enter name, hit Enter. Once the part type has been created, simply go up, select the parts, hold on the Shift, here are all the lug nuts, hold on the left mouse button, drag down to the lug nut, part type, and release. In the next example, I'm going to show you how the part types work with constraints. Currently, right now, I have no constraint on the lug nuts. I select the lug nut, hit the bolt constraint, select my static part, hit next, hit next, pick the Z axis, next, move the lug nut off capture my second boundary, select move freely, and hit next, rotations, rotation direction, hit finish, and now you can see that constraint in place. Now with the part types, if I were to remove this lug nut, place it over here, grab an additional lug nut, go back to that first constraint, you will now see that this lug nut has the same constraint on this inner lug nut. In this topic, we will be discussing changing the color of a part and adjusting the material settings. You can change the color of one or more parts. You can change the color of a part so that it looks more like the actual equipment. When you change the color of a part, it changes in all configurations. Warning, if a part is textured or shaded and you change its color, the texturing or shading is removed. After the file is saved, you cannot revert back to the original texture or shading. In my demonstration, I'll be changing the main body color. Select the main body, right click, select part color. In my demonstration, I will pick blue, hit OK. As you can see, I have now changed our part color. To adjust the material settings, right click, adjust material settings, a panel will appear, and inside this panel, you can make required adjustments. In this next topic, I will be discussing renaming and deleting a part. Renaming and deleting a part must be done in model editing mode. Once in model editing mode, move to the attachment tree, find the part you want to rename. In my demonstration, it's going to be gun. Right click, 
rename part. Type in weapon, hit enter. You are going to see a message. Part names are shared across all configurations. If you change this part name, it'll be changed in all of your configurations. So be very aware of the situation. Now, when I hover over the weapon, the new name is weapon. Next, I'm going to demonstrate how to delete a part. If you want to simplify a 3D model or reduce the size of the 3TO file, you can delete parts. Note that deleting parts is different from hiding parts, where the hidden parts are no longer visible in the workspace but are still part of the 3D model and can be shown again at any time. When you delete a part, all associated callouts disappear from the calls panel, all associated lines and shapes are deleted. Deleted parts are permanently removed from the 3TO file and are no longer available in any configuration. In my demo, I'm going to grab the weapon, right click, delete part, here's your warning messages, click yes, part is permanently deleted from the 3KO.